are we all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well. So today is a crack day. It's lashing rain out. So I thought I'd finally have a look at this. I have, it is working, but I haven't done a video on it yet. Um, I have it a couple of weeks, probably three weeks now. Um, I picked it up at a good price, uh, considering it has the matching speaker, although we have issues there as well. Um, I haven't taken the cover off it yet, um, so we're gonna do that. It's very noisy and what have you, but uh, I'll turn off all the noisy lights in here and we'll have a listen to it. This is a Trio 9R59D. Uh, the DS had the stabiliser in it, but the D should have a hole uh, for the 0890 stabiliser, 082 uh, stabiliser valve. Um, I don't know. We'll get into it. You can see we're missing a couple of knobs and what have you, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't bother me a whole lot. So let's have a little listen to it anyway. And then we'll get the covers off. As you can see, we can't see anything wrong here anyway, we should be good to go. I have this hooked up to a good ground rod, um, earth, and of about a hundred and something foot of wire just going around the trees at the back. Uh, just for the workshop at the minute, I need to put up a proper area again for HF listening. We shall switch on. I'm on the broadcast band here. It's fairly grubby, you could do it a good deep plan. The band have been burnt. Two major wineries have been lost to the flames. Tens of thousands of local people have been moved from the area. And after BBC News, it's three minutes past three. It's been a year in politics that we will always remember. And there's much more to come before the end of 2020. You can keep up to date with it all on BBC Science. On America, it's bringing the latest from the election race. Of course, as well. The yes, meter adjustment part is noisy. As you can see, it's bouncing around. It takes a notion of wanting to walk every now and again. There we go. Um, volume's noisy, RF control's noisy, band chain switch is noisy, mode selector is noisy, everything's noisy. We do have to say, without going any further than on medium wave, it's very sensitive. And I do find that um, on the stronger stations, I have to back off the back off the RF control to stop it overloading. I'm not overly really impressed with the stock speaker, and it's not something I've been too pushed about. It's just, like a lot of these amateur radio speakers, it's just a cheap speaker in another cabinet. It's just a little light on, elliptical speaker, one and a half watt. It's nothing special. But obviously it's nice to have the match and set. Look at the dial there as I'm chewing it. Help. Of course, we don't have the band spread through uh, zeroed either, so it's not going to be spot on. But I think the RF alignment is out a little bit. Huh? There's a bit of noisiness coming in on the mouse switch there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's it on the broadcast band. Going up to B. We have... So that's uh, Shannon Valme. That's coming in nicely, but not in the right spot. Nothing else to be heard there. Let's go up another one. Then the top uh, range is totally deaf, but I do know it is working. It's just deaf because if I get my uh, snazzy vintage walkie talkie here and turn them on, we can tune it in. Hello. So it is working, it's just deaf. And the reason for that I heard is because of this wax that they use um, on the RF coils, it goes lossy. So we'll open it up anyway and we'll have a look at it. Let's see what it's like inside. See if any mods have been done within the past or if it's uh, all original. Although there's plenty, uh, there's the screws look well worn now, so it's had to cover it off more than once. I'd say Screws holding it together anyway. You seem to use a mix for some reason of Phillips and flat. See that one's being forced at some stage and you know, it's being split. See the rabbit. It's filthy dorky anyway. Absolutely manky. Someone has put a voltage stabilizer in. You can see our OA2 is here. 
fitted. We'll turn it on again now in a minute and see if it's striking. Yeah, it doesn't look too messed around. But... Um, we'll get the hoover and we'll clean all this crap off it. See if anything was going on underneath here. Obviously, if you are doing the alignment on this, you have the cover on. They give you there's holes in the cover because the you did the alignment with the cover off and then you put it on the capacitance of the cover itself is going to upset it on you but they give you a nice neat little map here so you know where everything is That's me pushing against the plug for the soldering or half plug down. And so there's the bottom cover off, plenty of dust on him too. You can see what I've wired in the well let's be honest, um I'd say this the socket looks like it's it's a factory fit for the OA2. It even has the little bits of glue on it there. So maybe it just didn't come with the valve fitted. This must be the wax they're talking about here on the coils. Like in a bit of lighter fluid or something like that would be a uh, demand to take that off. It's in good nick though, it hasn't been fucked about with, <laughs> which is always good. Well, back on, we can see that the OA2 is striking, so we should be good there. I'll probably give the pots a bit of an old squirtle doodle now. Um, Like then. Right, so I've sprayed all the controls and it's feel, it sounds a bit more sensitive now, even up on the top end. But um, I'm just going to check the uh, coupling cap here for leakage. I'd say there will be a little bit. There's a little bit of leakage going on there, so I'll go ahead and I'll change that out. And um, I'll hoover it out as well, and then we'll see how we are. Okay, so I've changed that cap, that, that, that cap, and I've given it a little hoover out, it's a bit better now. Um, so we just check for positive volts on the grid. 
and we're not moving at all there now. So we're good. Well, we're going down to three volts. And we're still good. And this is the cap that I take in out. So we'll check him for leakage. And sure enough, he is a little bit leaky there. So that's that. Sounds a bit better now anyway. So we'll have a quick listen to it. Scan around on the bands again. Turn off the noisy lights. See if we can resolve a bit of soil band. Yeah. It's about 20 meters now. Yes, 
All right, well, that's an initial look at the trail. Um, I think the next thing I'll do is I'll get that wax off those RF coils and then um, we'll go over there, see if the higher frequencies come in a bit stronger. But um, for medium wave reception, it's a great radio. Then we'll get into checking the alignment and all that kind of jazz. But um, uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon.